Today, an Ohio man with no, no, no known home address and a long criminal history entered pleas to two crimes that happened when he was in Belmont County last summer. Charles Berge allegedly gave drugs to a young girl, then his activity turned sexual. He told the judge that he never graduated from high school and can read and write only a little bit. But his pleas ended up being somewhat complicated. DK Wright has our exclusive coverage. 35-year-old Charles Berge was in the Bridgeport area last August, staying with a family when he ended up alone with a 12-year-old in that family. First, he allegedly gave her marijuana. He was there as a guest to one of the other victim's family members, and at that time there was inappropriate touching. And as soon as that occurred, the victim had notified family members, and at that point, Mr. Berge had fled the scene. Today is the third time Berge claimed he was going to plead guilty. The first two times he decided not to. Do you understand what you're doing today? Yes, sir. Are you entering your guilty plea by Alfred or otherwise voluntarily? Yes, sir. He entered a guilty plea to corrupting another with drugs and an Alfred plea to gross sexual imposition. They spent some time clarifying what an Alfred plea is. Saying that I, I, something like I didn't do it, but I'm not, I'm not um, admitting uh, guilt, but it's a, it's a guilty plea. You are simply indicating that there is enough evidence in the record such that you believe there's too much of a risk to go to trial, so essentially what you're trying to do is lessen the possible sentence. Berge apologized to the court. I apologize for, for the way I acted in a passing courtroom. Um, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say to the day I die, I didn't do nothing. He also apologized to the friend he was staying with in that house, saying, I love you, I'll probably never see you again, I apologize. He was sentenced to spend the next three years in prison. In Belmont County, DK Wright for 7 News, working for you. Berge is now listed as a Tier 2 sex offender. He'll have to register his address every six months for the next 25 years.